Hi. In this video, we'll talk about difference between method overloading and method overriding. So what is the difference between these two things? Okay. So when you talk about method overloading and method overriding differences, so overloading happens at compile time. So because of that, it is called compile time polymorphism. So overriding happens at runtime. Because of that, it is called runtime polymorphism. So static methods can be overloaded, which means a class can have more than one static method of same name. But you know the rules, right? The argument should be different. Okay, data type should be different or uh, the order should be different. Those are applicable, but static methods can be overloaded, which means can have more than one static method of same name, right? So here static methods cannot be overridden. Even if you declare a same static method in child class, it has nothing to do with same method of parent class. So static is only applicable to the class. We need to, if you want to access, it will be with the class name, right? Nothing to do with object. So overloading is being done in the same class, right? Overloading means in the same class, multiple methods with the same name, with the different arguments, all these things. So it will be in the same class. But if you want to achieve or do overriding, it requires two classes, that is base class and child class. Overriding is all about giving a specific implementation to the inherited method of parent class, right? You have two classes, parent and child, and both the classes, you have the same method. So, but both the methods will have their own implementation, different implementation. Because of that only we'll use overriding concept. Static binding is being used for overloaded methods. Dynamic binding is being used for overloaded methods. Because of that, we have already said this is static binding and this is dynamic binding, okay? So now we'll see some more. So here also, a written type of method does not matter in case of method overloading. It can be same of different means you don't bother about written type. You just bother about the method name and different parameters. Overriding method can have more specific written type. Okay. Here everything should be same, right? Exact replica you should use. Argument list should be different while doing method overloading, but here argument list should be same. It should be different, but here it should be same. The reason it should be a replica of your parent class. Okay. So the parent class, child class should have the same method, but the logic inside the method should be different. Okay. So private and final methods can be overloaded. The reason is, it is happening in the same class, right? We are doing it is same class. If you have a private method, so that is accessible inside the same class. So if you have multiple private methods with the same name, so private and final methods can be overloaded. Private and final methods cannot be overloaded. Private itself is months, what? Restricted to that class, okay? restricted to the class. So if you inherit, if you use extends keyword and if you inherit also, you cannot access private method. So how you can override that? Right, you cannot override private. Okay, so private and final methods cannot override. So these are all the difference between method overload, overloading and method overriding, okay? So what could be the possible interview questions from this? So what is the difference between method overloading and method overriding? And what is method overloading? And what is method overriding? Okay, these type of questions you may face, difference between these two things and a separate things. Okay, that's all in this video. Thank you.